be the centerpiece of a convention in St. Louis this summer. ABC 7's Frank Matthey has details. Just one look at the outside of the Burl Martin Company in Griffith, Indiana, gives you a pretty good idea of what goes on inside. They take big objects and make replicas that are just about as big. The project they're working on now is still in many different pieces, but when it's assembled, it will be the Statue of Liberty. She's 130 feet, and she's about 50,000 pounds. And made of? Made of foam. Foam? Foam, yes. You just carve her out of foam? The guys carve her out and spray her with plastic, and she's good to go. It's something like styrofoam, but it's very strong and easy to carve into almost anything. The real Statue of Liberty was a gift from the people of France. This duplicate is a gift from a company called YTB of Wood River, Illinois. It's an Internet travel agency business, and at their convention this August in the St. Louis Dome, Lady Liberty will be the star attraction. It will be a dramatic opening to our convention. When the curtains come apart, and here's Lady Liberty, just about the same size as the real Lady Liberty. I think it's only like 13 feet shorter. With Lady Liberty behind us at the whole convention, is just going to be making such a, a, a statement. Yes, she is one mammoth foam lady. For instance, up here, that's part of her left hand that will hold the book. And then these are the fingers that are part of that left hand. And then we get over here under her face. That's Lady Liberty up there. Beautiful. With a nose four feet long. Extremely accurate. All the way down to the fingernails, the eyes, the hair. She will be painted three times to match the real Statue of Liberty. Then in July, she will be loaded into 48 semis and head to St. Louis to stand tall. Frank Matthey, ABC 7 News. <laughs> Next year, that replica statue will be given a permanent home in Crown Point, Indiana, in memory of fallen police officers and soldiers.